another episode of Cooking with Lawn, and I am just so excited to be back on another Wednesday for another amazing recipe. So as I do every week, I was sitting up there thinking about like, what am I gonna cook for you guys um, this week? And believe it or not, it is so hard to think of new recipes to teach you guys every single week. So if you have any ideas, please drop them down in the comments below and I'll be glad to review those and try to recreate them in the coming weeks. But yeah, so I was thinking about like what I was gonna make this week and I thought of something like really good. I remember that somebody left a comment saying that they wanted to see stuffed chicken breast. And I had some leftover chicken breast in my freezer and I was like, what can I, like what kind of stuffed chicken breast can I make? There's so many different varieties. And I decided I'm gonna make the Ruth Chris style stuffed chicken breast. Now y'all, I don't know if you have ever been to Ruth, I don't know if it's Ruth Chris or Ruth Chris, whatever, I think it's Ruth's Chris. Babe, what is it? Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris, yeah. So I don't know if you guys have ever been to Ruth's Chris, but every single time I've been, I have gotten the stuffed chicken. I don't think there's ever been a time where I went to Ruth's Chris and I didn't get the stuffed chicken. It is that good. It's like so creamy and cheesy and like garlicky. So I looked up the recipe, seen what they kind of put in it, kind of did like a copycat recipe and we are gonna recreate it tonight. So if you've never been to Ruth Chris, I'm about to take y'all there tonight. So keep your coins and your purse. We're about to make it right now. It's really simple, really easy, and really fast. All right guys, first things first, I wanna preheat my oven to 450 degrees um, because it's gonna take quite some time for that oven to come up to temperature. And lately I've been loving cooking my chicken breast on like high temperatures because the outside gets like all nice and crisp and then the inside is still nice and juicy. So let's start on the cheese filling, y'all. Look, if, if you have ever been to Ruth Chris and got this stuffed chicken breast, you know what this cheese filling tastes like. So we're gonna add in a block of cream cheese and this is sitting at room temperature so that it's, you see how easy it is to like mash it? That's exactly what we want. And then I'm gonna add in, this is powdered ranch dressing, y'all. This is the first time I actually purchased this. Um, so you'll get like the ranch seasoning in a pack. And then I'm gonna also add some sprigs of thyme. This is fresh thyme that I'm just gonna put in here. I think just one or one will do. I don't want too much because it is fresh. It'll have, you know, it'll be very pungent. And then we're gonna add in some sharp cheddar cheese. So if you have a food processor, then you can go ahead and throw this in your food processor. I do not, so I'm gonna be mixing this by hand. And it's a little too thick to kind of mix um, with a um, whisk, oopsie, with a whisk. So I'ma just go ahead and kind of mash it with a fork until everything is incorporated. But yeah, if you guys have been to Ruth Chris before, comment down below what your favorite entree is. Like I said, mine is hands down is the stuffed chicken breast. But you know, if you guys have tried something different, then let me know. And we don't really need to add any salt because of that um, ranch seasoning packet. And it's probably very high in sodium already. But I am gonna add a little bit of pepper to kind of break up that saltiness, if you get what I'm saying. And then I'm gonna continue to mix this up. You see how easy that was to like incorporate everything? And that's because, like I said, the cream cheese was at room temperature. Mm, this smells so good. Mm, mm. I just kinda, can I try this like this? Mm, mm. Mm! That is so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait until that melts down. I'm gonna clean off my hands and then we're gonna get started on the chicken breast. All right, y'all, so I have some boneless, skinless chicken breast here. Now, Ruth's Chris, they serve theirs up on like a um, double-breasted split chicken breast with the skin on. Now, because I already had this chicken breast in my uh, freezer, I'm just gonna use what I have. But if you have to run out and get some chicken breast, definitely get the one that has the skin on. And it might have the bone in, but that's completely okay. So these are whole chicken breasts. I have not cut them or anything like that. You want them to be very thick like this because um, when we put all that cheese filling in there, we want the chicken breast to kind of, you know, like stay closed and we don't want the chicken breast to seep out. So you don't want to use like chicken cutlets or anything thin. You want this nice thickness. 
so what I'm gonna do is kind of cut a pocket into these chicken breasts so that it'll have a place for our cheese filling. Now I am so scared because I don't want to cut a hole anywhere in the chicken breast. So I'm gonna try to start, let me move this one out of the way. I'm gonna start um, a little far away from the edges and kind of cut directly in the middle and I'm not gonna go too far back either. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. Like y'all don't even know. Let me just cut. So you can kind of feel around and see if you need to add, add more space. Here's my little pocket. I think I'm gonna, let me see, I can put, I'm kind of running my finger in there and kind of um, feeling around to see if I can, you know, open up the whole, pause that, a little bit. So as you can see, I have a pretty decent sized pocket now. So there's one and I'm gonna do the other side. Now here comes the time for the fun part. I'm gonna stuff my chicken breast. I was thinking about piping this in with a bag, but this cream cheese filling is a little too thick to do all that. So I'm gonna just, you know what? I'm just use my hand, like why not? Maybe form it and then pop. Oh my gosh, this looks so good and it smells so good. Somebody, oh my goodness, somebody help me. All right, so I'm gonna just pop this in there and then I'm gonna take another piece and put it in that side. All right, so my hands are a mess again. So I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna show you guys how to close these chicken breasts up and season them as well and then they'll be ready for the oven. All right guys, so I just have a baking sheet here that I line with foil and I'm gonna put down some olive oil so that um, our chicken doesn't stick. And then, let me show you guys how to secure the chicken. So I have some toothpicks and this is what you're gonna to use to keep, this is a fresh box, to keep your chicken closed. Otherwise, the cheese will kind of seep out everywhere. So we're just going to put a few toothpicks through it. Pretty simple, right? Stuff that cheese down in there so that it doesn't seep out. And then of course, we'll remove the toothpicks before we serve and eat. This cheese is good, but we can't forget to season our chicken itself. So I got some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and some parsley. Now, when I take mine out, because it doesn't have skin, it's not gonna be that brown. Um, now, when you guys put yours in with the skin on the chicken breast, then it'll have that brown presentation. But that's why I'm adding the parsley on top so that it's a little green and the chicken doesn't look bland when it comes out. So that's kind of like a tip for you guys when you're cooking at home. Um, like if you're not cooking with something with skin on it, it's probably not gonna brown that well. All right guys, we got both of our chicken breasts stuffed, sealed, and seasoned. Stuffed, sealed, and seasoned. Say that three times fast. I added just a little pad of butter to each chicken breast, and now they're gonna go into that 450 degree oven for like 20 to 30 minutes until the chicken breast is nice and tender and cooked all the way through. Uh, our stuffed chicken breast has come out of the oven. Look at how the cheese just kind of seeped out the side just a little bit. Mm. And when I came in here to take the chicken out of the oven, I mean, it legit smelled like roof crisp in here. Like when they bring that sizzling plate to your table. But all right, y'all, I ain't gonna talk no more. I'm just going to try this. Oh my goodness. I can't. Mm. I'm gonna get a side piece and then just put some of that good sauce on here. Mm. Mm. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! This tastes straight like the Ruth Chris recipe. Yo! This is so good. It's the ranch. The ranch packets that give it the flavor. 
It gives you garlic, it gives you salt. I'm so glad that I added that pepper in there because it kind of broke up the saltiness. This is A1, y'all, A1. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm gonna serve my chicken up with like some veggies. I would recommend you guys serve this with a vegetable as well because it is so rich and so creamy. Anything else like potatoes, stuff like that, rice is gonna be too heavy. You need to serve this up with like asparagus or any kind of vegetable you have, that's what you want y'all. So that completes my copycat Ruth's Chris stuffed chicken breast recipe y'all. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. Don't forget that if you try this recipe at home, make sure you use the hashtag cooking with lawn so that I can see all your recreations. You guys DM me, you send me comments on Instagram and I love looking at every single one of your posts. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. I'll see you next week, same time, same place, different recipe.